welcome back to the Moran family. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys some Halloween boo baskets that I made for my children. So this one right here is for my daughter, Aurora. She's currently two years old, but she'll be three in December. And then this cat one right here is for my daughter, Layla, who is six years old, but she'll be seven in November. So normally I wouldn't ever make my girls a basket for Halloween. I usually only make them baskets for Valentine's Day and then of course Easter, but things are a little bit different this year due to COVID. We don't plan on going trick or treating at all this year, especially since I am pregnant with my fourth daughter. My due date is actually the day before Halloween, but I am getting induced on the 23rd. So just since I'm going to have a newborn and COVID, there's restrictions on trick-or-treating, I still want to make Halloween as special as I can for my girls. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into these baskets. So the first one I'm going to share with you guys is for my daughter Layla, who is six years old, as I said. These baskets are from Target and they're pretty decent size. Like you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I will try to have everything linked down below in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. So the first thing that I got Layla is a pair of Chelsea boots. These are also from Target. I bought these last year for my girls and they lasted all throughout like the end of the year they lasted through fall they lasted through winter and it even like snowed at our house so these held up really good they outgrew them though so i was really sad about that so i figured i would buy them again for them just because they were so amazing they lasted through fall through winter they lasted through all of the crazy weather conditions we experienced so I'm really excited to give them these. The next thing that's in her basket is a little wooden ghost. It's completely plain all around. So I figured this will be a nice little like arts and craft thing that we can do together. I have a bunch of like painting supplies because I do homeschool my girls. So I have more than enough paint. So I figured we can do this as a little arts and crafts project. Next thing that's in here is some kinder eggs because i had to throw in some candy this is actually the only candy that i have in their baskets i didn't want to go too crazy because i think the girls are going to be spending halloween with my mom since me and my husband are gonna have a newborn my mom wanted to give us like a little bit like of space with the baby so i think my girls are going to be with my mom for halloween my mom has all of this stuff planned for them like treats and arts and crafts and halloween movies so she has like a whole day planned for them so i didn't want to put too many treats in my girls baskets because i know they're gonna get more than enough when they go to their grandma's house the next thing that's in layla's basket is a necklace and bracelet set my mom actually got this for them so i stuck it in their basket this one is kind of like it reminds me of like candy corn because of the colors and then it has a unicorn with a like candy corn horn. My mom also got them this cute little fuzzy pumpkin pom-pom headband. So cute. This one and this one is from the children's place. Next thing in Layla's basket is a pair of jammies. For every single holiday, I buy my girls jammies, whether it be for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's Day, literally, Every single holiday, I buy us a pair of jammies. So here are the ones that I got Layla for Halloween. It's a skeleton, so it has bones all over. And these are like a onesie type of jammies. It doesn't have the feet on it. So here's what it looks like. It's just a skeleton. I bought their skeleton jammies last year from Old Navy and they still glow in the dark. They still fit my girls. They still wear them all the time. So I figured I would buy them the next size up that way they can wear these all throughout next year as well because they just love wearing the skeleton jammies and they think it's so cool because they glow in the dark like I said. The next thing that is in Layla's basket is a little squishy i don't know about your guys's kids but mine are obsessed with these little squishy toys i don't know why but they think they are the coolest things ever so i bought a pack of these these are from 
Target. I think they were from like the dollar section or something. So they were really inexpensive. This is another thing that I try to get my kids. My girls love to read. We always read every single night before bed. So every single holiday, I like decorate their bookshelf in their room and I pull out all of the holiday themed books. I display them on the shelf and then every single night before bed, we choose a book and we read it. So for every single holiday, I try to get them a themed book. So this is the one that I chose for Layla. This is the little old lady who is not afraid of anything. This was actually one of my favorite childhood books. I remember my mom reading this book to me and I thought it was so cool. So I figured maybe Layla would enjoy it as well. The last thing that I have in Layla's basket is a little costume. I didn't buy the girls a like full on costume just because like I said, we're not going trick or treating, but I did get them some accessories. That way they can still use this in their dress up bin. My girls love to dress up during the day. So I figured I would get them little like accessories versus a full on costume. Layla told me she wanted to be a witch. So I got her a little witch hat. And then with the hat, it also came with the little like cape. So here's what the cape looks like. It just ties around your neck and then it just matches perfectly with the hat. So that is for Layla. And that's everything in Layla's basket. So the next basket is for my daughter, Aurora who is two years old, like I said, she got this pumpkin one. I don't know if you guys can see the inside of her basket, but hers is really cool as well. It's lined with a bunch of stars. So there's orange stars in here, purple stars, this really pretty like mint color. So I'm just so obsessed with these baskets. I think they're so cute. So the first thing that's in Aurora's basket are some Chelsea boots as well. Hers have pink in the inside. These are the toddler size ones. So. They're a little bit different than Layla's. Let me show you guys. So these ones are Layla's. These are the girl's size, and these are the toddler girl's size. So they are a little bit different, if you can tell. So Layla's zipper is on the outside, and then the toddler boots has the zippers in the inside, and then hers is lined with pink. So they're just a little bit different, but pretty much the same. And then Aurora also has one of these pom-pom um, pumpkin headbands as well. She also has a necklace and bracelet set, but hers is different. Hers has a ghost instead of a unicorn like her sister's. She also has two Kinder Eggs in here as well. Aurora has two squishies. It came in a pack of three, so I'm hoping the girls don't fight over it. I might have to take out one squishy from Aurora's basket that way they both just get one because I don't want them to fight sister problems but anyways there's a pumpkin squishy and then there's a skeleton squishy Aurora for some reason is really obsessed with like skeletons I don't know why but she thinks they're like so cool and she's always talking about skeletons she's always wanting to watch like movies with skeletons she has a weird obsession with them right now so I figured she would like that one. The next thing in her basket is a little wooden painting thing as well. Hers is the skull though, because like I said, she has a weird obsession with skeletons right now. So I figured she would like this one to paint. A pair of skeleton jammies as well. Aurora's are a little bit different just because my girls are now at the age gap where they aren't in the same like, category for sizes aurora is in toddler size still and then layla is officially in like the older girls section which is so sad to think about but since they aren't in like the same category anymore it's kind of hard to find them clothes that match which makes me a little bit sad because they love it so much they think it's so cool whenever i match them hers are from old navy as well so hers is just a pink skeleton these ones glow in the dark as well and then this one is actually like a two-piece set so it's just a shirt and then it has the pants i also got her a little book 
This one is called One Black Cat Sets Out on Halloween. I thought this book was so cute just because it's shaped like a cat. This is another one of Aurora's like favorite things right now is cats. She is like obsessed with cats as well. So I figured she would think this book is like really cool. And then it's just a little, it's just a little board book. So I figured she would enjoy that one. And the last thing that I got Aurora is a little accessory costume thing as well. So hers is a cat. That's what she said she wanted to be this year is a kitty. So it came with ears. This was from Target. And then it came with this little black tutu that has sparkly stars all over it. And then in the back of the tutu has the little kitty tail. So this came as a little set. All right guys, well that is actually everything that I got my girls for Halloween in their boo baskets. So here are the baskets one more time. That way you guys can really see the inside of them. So that's the cat one. And then here is the pumpkin one. I believe Target has one more basket. I think it was white and then it says trick or treat on it in black lettering. And then it has a spider on it with the spider web, I believe. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got my girls for Halloween. Hopefully this gave you some little ideas on what to get your kids for Halloween if you plan on doing so. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>